Now, I remember last time that we did an interview, I had compared uh, Derringer, who's your in-house producer, to Alchemist, and you got a little upset with me over that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I started I start staying with Derringer. So I got this access to these beats while he just making these beats. You know what I mean? He making the beats and shit, I got the access to them shits. You know what I mean? First, before, you know, I'm, I'm trying to hear him, him before West Side. I'm like, nah, <laughs> let me get that. Tuck that. Don't play that for bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and the beats are very like, I would say 90s yeah. sounding. Yeah. You know, dirty. You say that. Yeah. You know. They're not trap beats. They remind me of that. That yeah, 90s that vibe. dirty sample. You could hear the clicks in the record. Nice and simple. And, yeah. And just not too much added to it. Yeah. And that's kind of because I had to do it. I kind of, them shits was perfect for me because it was hard. Like a lot of times I, some words I can't pronounce as clearly when I'm like rapping and I'm more aggressive. Yeah. You know what I mean? I start, it would be like kind of like. You know, sound like Daffy Duck talking and shit like that because how my shit is. So I be needing them slow ass grimy beats where I could just basically talk on them shits. Talk to them. You know what I mean? So that's why them, them beat, I call it spooky. Just give me dark, nice, dark, airy, slow, boom, boom. You know what I mean? Nice boom, back, hard, or just a loop. And let my lyrics just be the, the instruments, kind of. Yeah, like the, the alchemist sounding beats. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So then. That's why I fucked with Al. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, he's dope. But, he's dope. You know what I mean? But me and Danger just made a marriage. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, his beats work perfect for my style. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Well, then 2017 rolls around. And leading up to 2017, were you guys having. Hold on. What you mean? What? <laughs> What you mean, the, the, the alchemist sounded beats? Like, what you, you know what I mean? What are you implying that, like, Derringer, like, no, no, no. You know what no, I mean? No, I, no, I'm not, and no, alchemist? no, no, I'm not saying that. But it's like, when I think of a dark sounding beat, the first person I think of is Alchemist. Yeah, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Derringer, I'm talking about Derringer and you threw Alchemist out there. That's why okay. I kind of. You're right, but my, my, my bad. I, I didn't. I didn't. I'm not mean. I didn't mean to, to downplay what he yeah, said. Yeah, no, nah, it's just right. Griselda over here, baby. Nah. Um, and, and that was my fault. That, that you know, in retrospect, when I looked at the comment, I'm like, I, I was wrong for that. And actually, your response, I think, was was cool. Like, I, I yeah, wasn't I was wrong, off, which is why that. I put it out. I was wrong for that too, because you know, just looking back again, man. You know, I'm learning all this shit, and we grow as we grow as we go along, right? So I'm just like. You know, as I look back and shit, I'm just like, you know, you I know now I know how, what 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 you meant by it, and it's just like, you know, at them times, man, I was just like, you know, I was a, I was different, you know what I mean? I was, you know, drinking all the time, and you know what I'm saying, I just living like a different life, different mentality. I had a different mentality, so it's just like, you know, those are just the lessons, and you know, that's my fault too. I ain't mean to just like, you know, lash out and because. We really didn't mean it that way, you know what I mean? Well, I appreciate the apology, man. You know, you know, we, we both take responsibility for the shit as grown right. men, and right. you know, like I said, like I, I felt the way I phrased it wasn't wasn't great, and yeah, if you feel that you know your response wasn't the best either, I, I can accept it because I, I remember you you had like a like a like a glass of Hennessy or something, yeah, yeah, you know, which something you brought, like, <laughs> I, I, and I, I did not I did not provide that for you because yeah. for me when I do interviews, you know, and I've gotten into it with people where like. They're like, well, you go on the show, you got to drink. And I'm like, nah, I'm not, I'm not going to drink because I know this is being recorded forever. So I, I want to be in, in my right mind That state. was something that I learned, real talk. Like, I'm glad you said that. Like, you know, when you're going into these interviews and you're not in your right mind, sometimes, man, you say stuff that you can't take back or you wish you hadn't said, but you don't even realize it at that moment because you're not in your right mind anyway. I just think it's it's just not a good idea to be just, you know, smashed, like wasted on the interview, like, you know? So I like yeah, that. And, and you weren't, I don't think you were wasted, but you was, you know, you were taking sips throughout. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I'm drinking, you know, I was, I was drinking a, that XO, you know, Remy XO. All you need is a couple sips, man. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like a light switch, you yep. show me? And I remember on uh, on your new album, on John Woo Flick, you actually had a line on there. You said, uh, Derringer compared to RZA. And I'm like, oh, shit, was this kind of a, right. a reference when, to- when I, when I did it, he cussed me out. No, he only <laughs> saw him doing it himself. 
<laughs> yeah, man, no. Nah. So yeah, okay. So so when I said it, it was cool. But when you said it, you got cussed out. All right. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's how it goes. And, and I guess Derringer, he produced like half your album, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I wanted to just give, you know, I wanted to stay with in my lane, like with that same feel that we've been giving our diehard fans, man. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to make sure that I kept my people fed. You know, look out for them first because they've been with me first. They was listening to the songs, when, you know. They was buying the CDs directly from us when we wasn't even putting our shit on DSPs and buying the vinyls and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Buying the shit on eBay for a thousand dollars because it's sold out on our site, stuff like that. So I know the type of stuff that they loved me for, and I just wanted to let them know, like, okay, don't think just because this, you know, I'm doing a, a, a album on a major now. You know what I'm saying? It's it's it's. We you know we on a big stage now, like that. I'm about to just, you know, it's gonna be a bunch of jingles and, you know, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying like, nah, I'm gonna get y'all these. That's why it was important for me to get records like Piano Love and John Wu Flick out as first, you know, the first couple to like to assure like, you know, those my my core audience, you know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, no, nah, Conway, Conway in his bag, you know what I'm saying? 